Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 7. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so it's time for the rear wheel drive Elite Open. We're going to be taking the Maserati GT for this one. It is a B435 event. Starting off with Sakuba, Suzuka and then Twin Ring Mategi. All of these are Japanese circuits today. Lovely. Let's go. All right, here we go. It is time for the Maserati. I love this car a lot, actually. I think this was actually one that, um, if I'm not mistaken, didn't um, Jason Statham take this in the Fast and Furious movies? I think this was one of his cars that he took. It was like that, uh, you don't take guns to a fist fight scene or whatever. I'm not sure. Oi! Hit my car, you prick. If you got that feeling, yeah, just take time and step away. cool that you can actually look around the interior somewhat uh, and it's cool that the interior is somewhat mapped out but like from this position here I can't see me fucking dials so you know kind of pointless you also got your telemetry menu here which doesn't actually lag out the game when you load it up the uh, last game Motorsport 2 lagged an ever so slight amount when you were loading it. But uh, the telemetry menus look fairly similar, but instead you've now actually always got like the basic information like gear, speed and all that stuff. That's always visible on these telemetry menus here. Your temperatures, you've got your tire heats, uh, damage model. So not too bad. There is also another button you can press. Ah, there it is. You can load up the drift overlay as well in this game. Which basically means you can do this. Meow! Drift points! <laughs> ah, but we don't need that. Where do we go from here? Said it's getting hard to see. Fifth cocktail of the night. I mean, it is 10 p.m., so that's that's a fair number to be at at 10 p.m. Oh, don't remind me. Oh, I've got a funny story to tell you, chat, but I'm, I'm going to tell it in the next race so we got enough time. It's a good story, and it's about Jaeger bombs. <laughs> so stick around, chat. Kodo, you'll want to stick around and hear it as well. Uh, we got a 10% discount on intake manifold and throttle body and oil and cooling upgrades by Maserati Course. Nice. All right, here we go. So... Kodo, story time. Are you ready for this? <laughs> so, Jaeger bombs. Deadly for me. And I found this out the hard way. So, uh, we'll go back to 
Uh, but this is probably February time. So back when I got laid off from my last job role, um, basically, we had planned that weekend, that exact weekend that I got laid off. Um, no. Oh. Trust me, they are. I'll explain the story. They are bad. So, um, what's it called? We, um, ended up renting out, like, a Airbnb for a party for someone. We'd had it planned for weeks, and then, um, it didn't go through. Well, I, the party went through, but I didn't go back to work after that party because they had laid me off. Um, so this was like my, almost like a goodbye party as well. So we drunk. Um, there was supposed to be six people going. Six, seven, eight people. Uh, majority of them ditched us. One ditched us because their friend got in a car accident. So gutted for them. Uh, some of the other ones were just not happy, didn't want to go, couldn't be asked. I don't know. Um... So it was just me and two other women there. That was it. Three of us. <laughs> and, um... It was... Interesting. We hit, we did some drinking games and stuff like that. So there were drinks. We played a game of cards. But Jaeger bombs were the drink, right? And I kid you not... Jaeger bombs are a lot easier to drink... Than you would expect. So I'm sat there drinking Jaeger bombs on these things, right? And I'm starting to feel feeling tipsy, right? I had, I had quite a few already, but I didn't realize how many I had had. I can't remember how many I had, right? So I'm sat there drinking these Jaeger bombs, um, and it comes to like two in the morning. We've all got to go to sleep or whatever. So I'm like, oh, but people haven't finished their drinks, so. I, there was like four cups half filled with like Jaeger bombs. And these aren't like small solo cups or whatever. These are like big, like pint cups. Down them all. Didn't touch the side. Go up the stairs. Uh, I am struggling to walk up the stairs, I'll be honest. I am drunk out of my ass. Uh, I then tried to jump on the bed, at which point. I miss the bed, go splat on the floor, and uh, I don't know whether me going splat, because everyone came around, because it was like a massive thud, uh, I don't know whether me going splat caused something, but I just immediately threw up on the floor. <laughs> it was fucking bad. Uh, we got a 10% discount on clutch upgrades. Nice. Alright, where were we on the story? So yeah. I basically did earthquake on the floor, threw up everywhere. Um, and the only thing I remember, right, is me going thud. So this is all I remember from the day. Me going thud, hitting the floor. Then me getting picked up and undressed by said women. <laughs> Which already was weird. Um, I don't remember saying anything. Um, and then just being asleep. Um, apparently there was vomit all over my shirt, so it had to get, like, put away. Like, in a plastic bag. Um, but the worst part was, um, not through their own fault, but they had cleaned, <laughs> cleaned it up with one of my merch hoodies, and I was fucking gutted, because I had just bought it. Like, I had just bought this hoodie, and I had worn it once beforehand. The second time I worn it, covered in vomit, <laughs> and I was like, fuck. <laughs> so it went in the washing machine like six or seven times just to make try and get it all out, and it came out. It, it's fine now, but... Oh. Like, I kid you not, I, I have no recollection of a majority of that day. Was it you who caused that earthquake tsunami in Japan? Might have been. <laughs> this wasn't that long ago. 
This was this year. And the culprit was Jaeger bombs. We did majority Jaeger bombs, so like um, Red Bull and Jaegermeister and all that. But then we also did one that had orange juice in. I had one that had orange juice and Jaegermeister. And I kid you not, my stomach and orange juice does not mix well. In the morning for breakfast, I might have a small glass of orange juice. But orange juice and my stomach has never mixed. Like, orange Fanta is fine, all that stuff. But pure, proper orange juice? No. And I don't know whether it was the orange juice. I think it was because I had drunk too much anyways. But I always, whenever I have orange juice with something... It, here's the thing, Kodo. I do not remember. But I, I do remember going down in the morning. And there was about 12 cups. Right? That had been used. And bearing in mind, we had been refilling cups. And I had drunk other people's cups at that point. I think I had way too fucking much. Because <laughs> again, like, like I said, I cleaned up. I was like, but people haven't finished. I drunk them all. Fucking threw up everywhere. <laughs> Horrible. I hated it. The, the thing is, they had to be up for like work at 9 o'clock. So they were awake at 8 and we were in the car by 8.30. So I had only had six hours of sleep. Um, so we got into the car. I'm there like... Dumbfounded face. Get home. Stumble upstairs. And I sleep. I kid you not. For another eight hours. So that day. I, I woke up at like four. I woke up a couple of times during that sleep. But that was like wake up. Felt sick. But didn't throw up. And then went back to sleep again. Oh, it was a hell of a bad, bad day. Bad day. All right. So we are taking part in the hatch. Uh, hot hatch road test. There we go. Hatchback road test. Uh, we are starting off with Circuit de Catalunya, Maple Valley Raceway, and then finished off with Twin Ring Mategi. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, we get the um, Focus RS for this one. I'm very excited. I love this car so much. This is my favorite. Favorite Ford ever made. Um, but yeah, like, I am a lightweight, so I don't need as much alcohol to get drunk, and it's, it's kind of better that way, but, uh, when I, when I go out, I don't like drinking too much, I don't need the drink as much as other people might need, because once I'm in that vibe, I haven't drunk for two years, though, from last drinking, what do you class as drinking, hands? Do you class drinking as going out and getting drunk or drinking any form of alcohol? Because for me, um, drinking is going out for a night out and going for a drink. Like, having a couple of pints, getting drunk. Any form. That's fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. So, for me, I... I will go out drinking once every few months, where I have quite a lot, but I will have a drink here and there. Um, I don't mind a cider here, cider there. Typically, the past few weeks, I've probably had a cider a week at the most, so... That's a good idea. Parents have a pub. Just can't drive there. wouldn't be to the level of me having one beer and falling over because first of all I wouldn't be drinking beer and second of all I'm not that much of a lightweight but I wouldn't need as much and I wouldn't force myself to drink more than I need as well 
I struggled to do that. That that night though, I was at like I wouldn't say a depressed state because of the work situation, but I definitely had more of an incentive to drink that night. Um, so I was slamming them down the hatch. We even had a case of ciders that we could have drunk. I didn't drink a single cider. We just had Jaeger bombs the entire night. And I'm gonna be honest, Jaegermeister, not a very good alcohol. It doesn't taste good. So I don't even know why I was drinking it. <laughs> But it was, it, it was interesting. It was very interesting. How the fuck do you not like beer? I think it's the flavor. Cause it's like hops and all that. It's sort of like a yeasty, oaty kind of weird. It's, it's the flavor. I don't like the flavor. Um. Yeah. Can't get above 75 or 80 kilograms. Mate, I'm I'm like 110 at the moment. I'm fucking fat. <laughs> so Which is probably why my tolerance is high higher than it used to be. But still. Shock me like an electric field. I got a Lexus ISF. Let's go. And we got a 20% discount on ignition upgrades by MSD. These are available on cars made by Chrysler, Dodge, Ford, Panos, Celine, and Shelby. Woohoo! Let's have a look at this car. First time I saw slash had it, I asked my dad why he was drinking piss. <laughs> Beer does look like piss. <laughs> oh, I like the look of this car. Nice one. All right, here we go. Maple Valley. Meet me in the boom boom room. And we can do what you like. Ah, oh, nice one. Jaguar F-Pace and Porsche Cayenne. Do you know, I, I like the Porsche Cayenne. Sort of. I, I'm a bigger fan of the Panamera. The the SUV Cayenne. It's all right. But I do prefer the um, Panamera. Just because it looks more like a sports car <laughs> than an SUV. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's here. Hiccups. The F-Pace is cool, though. One beer education. I'd love an electric car, but... Uh, here's the thing. Why would you want... A Eurus. It's a beautiful car. But the value depreciation of the Eurus is quite substantial because of how mass produced they are compared to other Lamborghinis. Um. To be fair, the Cayenne's value is probably fairly low. I mean, yeah, it goes now, but if it wants a car that does that, don't get the Urus, get something else, you know. You think with fuel prices as well, the Urus is not a good idea, because that's got a V12 in it, isn't it? Is it a V8 or a V12? I think it's a V12, because all Lamborghinis pretty much have had V12s. My family likes big expensive SUVs. 
again, SUVs are a very questionable market because without sounding like an ass, they are aimed at posh snobs. That's the only target demographic that they've ever been for. But the Urus is probably the best looking out of them all. Bentley Bentayga can go fuck off. Looks like AIDS. Um, yeah. The Urus would be the only SUV that I actually would want to be seen in. And not dead. <laughs> you know. I got 20% discount on oil and cooling upgrades by Cosworth. Not bad. All right, here we go. Uh, this is Suzuka. No, it's not. It's twin ring. I was close enough. Nice pass. There's a problem with my music app where it keeps sort of going over to the next song, but then it plays the last song again, which is weird. That's why that song played twice. Post I was called my bad, I meant V90, not XC. V90 is good looking, I mean. Ah, fair enough, yeah. I have seen some of the Volvos. They're pretty good. Um, do you know what I'd love to drive one day? A Koenigsegg. I think that is like one of the coolest cars out there. Like, I'll be honest, the Lamborghini Centenario is one of my favorite cars. Has been for a while. Uh, my more reasonable dream car is a um, 2000 GTR Nissan Skyline from 73. That is a beautiful looking car. What, the 1973 one? Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure. That was in... Um, that was in number six. And I think the ta tank one was an escort. Yeah. They are very similar films. Let's be honest. Death Ray, what is up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day, my dude. Right, we're going to save that replay because I want this as my thumbnail. Not bad. And I believe... There we go, six grand. 
Not bad. I believe this was the last race. Ghost Mac. Your <laughs> bright face. Alright, there we go. We've got 146 grand now, which is not bad. Alright, so we are here for the boosted proving grounds. Uh, it's got a picture of a Supra. Is that a Supra? <laughs> um, so we're going to be taking this car. Uh, the Subaru WRX. C425. Uh, it's, yeah. We're 420. Nice. Uh, starting off with... <laughs> I've honestly butchered this intro. I don't care anymore. Uh, starting off with Sunset Peninsula, moving on to Maple Valley, and then Sebring International Raceway. Let's go. Antidote. Oh, I love the BBS rims. The fact that Subarus came with BBS rims is beautiful. BBS rims are my favorite rims. It's a lovely Subaru. I mean, it doesn't make sense because it's oh wah ah ah ah. Not what about uh? Not uh, it. It doesn't make sense. There's no water in it. <laughs> we got Forza Three saved as a favorite category. It's pretty much always empty. Yeah, it is actually. Um, not a lot of people seem to play it. Um, but yeah, we. Um, I hear it. Ah, uh, fair enough, fans. <laughs> I don't, so... <laughs> um, yeah, I'm doing good, Lincoln. Thank you so much for asking. Um, yeah, cheers so much for uh, stopping by as well. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, so... A lot of the older Forza games... I, I sort of expected Forza 3 and Forza 4 to be a lot more commonly played because a lot of people are like oh yeah it's my favorite Forza game but really no one plays it which baffles me like no one plays it no one plays the old original horizon either and so many people say ah oh, horizon 1 was one of the best horizon 2 is one of the best horizon 3 is so much better than horizon 4 and 5 nobody plays them like what <laughs> it's just so weird. But yeah, as, as we're going through trying to 100% every single Forza game, um, we're on to Motorsport 3 now. We've finished uh, Motorsport 1 and 2. Finished 1, I think, back in June. Like, mid-June. And then Motorsport 2, we started mid-June. Um, and now, I think Motorsport 2 we finished a while ago. <laughs> uh, FH3, honestly, is a good game. If you find a key for it, get it before they go expensive, when you can. Because once they go expensive, you'll, you'll never play in it. Unless you borrow someone else's account. I think I've seen some on Eniba for 25, 30 quid for the standard edition, which again is more expensive than what you could have got it at, but it's also cheaper than a brand new copy. Hans, I know you said you're... Um, do you get any stores like CEX over there? Like used game stores? There we go. Six grand. Not bad. Now level one with Subaru. We've got dis discount on clutch upgrades by Exidy. All right. Let's go. Breaking a sweat. It's all right. I'm breaking a sweat. I said it's all right. Breaking a sweat. It's all right. Oi! Fuck you! 
dick. Ooh, ooh. I love the fact that they've got this Subaru in this game. This is the best Subaru. I want to, at some point, for one of the future events, like, I think there's a Japanese S... Actually, no. Japanese S-Class is definitely the Lexus LFA if it's in this game. But... Actually, no. I think it's Motorsport 4 that they added the LFA, not Motorsport 3. Anyways... I want to upgrade this to as high as I possibly can and use this for a future event. Because it's just a beautiful car. It's got to be used more than once. Break in a sweat. Oh, oh. It's all right. I'm breaking a sweat. I said it's all right. I'm breaking a sweat. It's all right. I'm breaking a sweat. I said it's all right. Not bad. Ghost has been saved. 5,500. Not too bad. Uh, I completely skipped what that was. All right, let's go. Is this, um... Oh, this is time to pretend. This is not, uh... Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I got squeezing my way through. Lovely Subaru. I like how on the interior camera they had to put Forza brand in somewhere, so they made sure it was on the gloves. I think when this game came out as well was the era when people kept putting content on YouTube and stuff like that. It was quite common then. To pretend.
There we go. Subaru. We're fated to pretend. This is a tune. We're six hours and 17 minutes of playtime into this. We've got another three championships to do today, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be -do -be -do -do -be -be -be. Right. Not bad. I believe I've got a thumbnail already. I think. I forgot. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> there we go. Six. Six and a bit grand. Six and a half grand. Um. Not bad. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Uh -huh.